Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanepan Manikam. I wanted to make a video on actress Samantha's condition called autoimmune myositis and how intermittent fasting could be a possible preventive and curative treatment option. Let's dive deep into it. Kudos to Samantha for talking about her condition which is very rare and I'm using her popularity to drive home an important point on fasting. So based on the news in the media, it looks like she might have been suffering from autoimmune myositis. Autoimmune means your body cells thinks that some body parts are foreign to you, it does not belong to you. So your own immune system starts eating up your own organs. In this case, the immune system is targeting her muscles which could be arms legs and i've seen patients who cannot even walk in worst case scenario sometimes it can affect the lungs respiratory muscles as well causing lung failure and sometimes patient cannot even breathe but this kind of immune attack can happen with any organ if it happens against liver it's called autoimmune hepatitis if it happens against kidneys it's called autoimmune nephritis and in my clinical practice i see autoimmune colitis where the immune system is targeting the colon colon or large intestine. So based on the severity of the immune system trigger, it could be mild symptoms, moderate symptoms or even severe symptoms. And the possibility of falling into this category is just pure luck. So why does this happen? In many cases, we just don't know the reason. Most of the time, it is sometimes genetic. But one thing is very common is that 75% of these diseases happen in women. Most of the times, the damage happens in one cell and it spreads to the next cell, triggering an autoimmune response. And that catches like a wildfire, damaging the organs. So fasting is a wonderful tool to prevent this chain of wildfire and prevent the cell damage to start with. The fact that these autoimmune diseases happen mainly in women raises the question that it could be related to hormonal imbalance. Women have so many functions dependent on the hormones. It has to be secreted at the right time. It is like a complex musical orchestra. Even a small insult can result in major consequences. So how our human body works is when we we start our day by waking up and when we start eating we damage our cells to produce the energy needed to survive for the day a study shows that 10% of the stomach cells are damaged each and every time that we eat However, our body is so smart, they have a compensatory mechanism as well. The damaged cells get repaired overnight by the hormone called growth hormone. But the key point is growth hormone needs 12 hours of repair time to repair all the damaged cells that happen during the day. So growth hormone can repair it overnight. Once the cells get repaired, it becomes fresh for the next day. So the cycle continues. So in the repair period of those 12 hours, the growth hormone should not be disturbed by two things one is food and second one is light so when this cycle is disturbed mainly by food growth hormone repair time gets decreased it doesn't have the entire 12 hours it gets decreased to like 10 hours or 9 hours which means that the repair process is not complete few of the cells might be damaged to start with when you start your day the next day. This might be the starting point to trigger flare-ups in patients who are susceptible to autoimmune diseases. So as I mentioned before, the damaged cell can create a chain reaction by spreading like wildfire triggering the autoimmune response or the damaged cell can grow into a precancerous cell causing cancer. So all this doesn't happen overnight. It is an accumulation of insults that happens over a few years. So similar to autoimmune myositis, I see autoimmune colitis, which we call as inflammatory bowel disease all the time. So diseases like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, your body thinks that your colon, your large intestine doesn't belong to you. So it starts eating up the colon leading to colitis and symptoms. So the concept is the same, just the organs differ. The treatment for these diseases is to suppress this immunity by giving stronger anti-immunity medications. And the most potent immunosuppressant is what we have called steroids. 
But unfortunately, when we give steroids, it not only suppresses the bad immunity, it also suppresses the good immunity as well. So since our immunity is completely wiped out under steroid treatment, we don't have enough cells to fight against even a small common cold. A small viral infection can be life-threatening in these patients sometimes. So it is absolutely important to prevent flare-ups or acute exacerbations of these diseases. And one of the main treatment is fasting. Multiple studies have shown that fasting for more than 12 hours actually decreases the inflammatory reaction, gives more time for the growth hormone to do its job. So we can actually prevent this from happening right from start. In my autoimmune colitis patients, I have seen when they adopt the sunrise to sunset method, most of the symptoms get reduced or sometimes get 90% cured. Along the same lines, fasting can also improve the repair mechanism so that there is no precancerous cells that is being formed so we can actually completely eradicate cancer. I sincerely wish Samantha a speedy recovery and I'm hoping that every one of us will adopt the sunrise to sunset fasting method for at least 12 hours so that we can decrease the inflammation in our body. We can make sure that the repair mechanism is completely done so we can save ourselves from autoimmune diseases and also cancer. I have been promoting sunrise to sunset fasting method in the channel for a long time I really want to know whether you have attempted it if so how long you can do it on a long-term sustainable basis please write down in the comment section I'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.